What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous, wonderful, blessed day. I am at Alpha Land with Brooklyn and Hanman and we are about to film the Alphalete birthday sale try on haul. The launch is gonna be February 18th at 12 p.m. Central Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. I believe that's for GMT, but I'll put it on the screen for you. And everything on the site is going to be on sale up to 80% off. And the new items that we're gonna show you today are also gonna be on sale. I wanna say like probably 10 to 20% off. And we have a lot of things to show you. A lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> so uh, this specific launch is really great because all of the colors are super neutral and can kind of be mixed and matched. And what Brooklyn and I are gonna do today, <laughs> she's not ready, <laughs> um, is we're going to both try on the pieces. So I'll try on a color, Brooklyn will try on the next color. Otherwise we would be here for the entire day. Trying, really? trying on clothes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So we're gonna start that now. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and show you all of the pieces and I will walk you through like my opinions on each color, which ones fit true to size versus which ones don't, for example, um, on the side of the screen. And we will go over all of the things. If you do wanna support me in this launch, my code as always is BRIT right here on the screen. And that does get you 10% off of your entire order. So please leave a comment below or message me on Instagram at Brit Shaheen. If you do decide to support me this launch, I would love to thank you myself. So without further ado, my sizing, I am wearing a small in everything in this specific haul because that's just like, what we have behind us. I usually do wear an extra small and amplified leggings, um, and that is what I wore during like our photo shoots the past two days. But for your reference, I'm wearing a size small in absolutely everything that you'll see today. Hi, hello, back at my house. Quick pause. We are gonna be walking through all these different pieces while I am sitting here, uh, and then Brooklyn and I are gonna be showing you what the outfits look like on. I have waited on posting this video because I wanted to wait a couple of days to basically decide like, how I felt about all the pieces before I just kind of jumped in here and did a try on haul. I wanted to wear them for workouts and I've worn almost every piece actually um, while I'm sitting down to actually talk about them. So I feel a lot better about doing this. And I've watched a lot of other athlete kind of videos and their like posts about this launch. And I have come to a conclusion and I think this is definitely an unpopular opinion, but I say this humbly as somebody who I think I'm on year like five with Alpha Lead or something, four or five, I think five. Um, and I feel like as we've gone more and more into the launches, of course I am your girl for the detailed reviews, but I think some of it has gone a little overboard. And I'm gonna explain that to you. At the end of the day, the example. Okay, I'm just gonna show you an example because that's easier. So if we're looking at the Amplify leggings, for example, sometimes you're gonna get an Amplify that feel a little bit different than other Amplifies. And yes, I agree that the current, like recent Amplify leggings don't feel the same as the very original Amplify leggings. Occasionally there is a color that feels just like the original, but they're just a little bit different. Like they're not as thick and like perfect as the original Amplify leggings are. And you know, I gotta say, it's probably cause they're just so popular and they're making so many and like, how can they all be perfect at the end of the day? Like I wish they could be, you know what I mean? But I'm seeing a lot of reviews where people are doing things like comparing waistbands. So this is the Amplify legging in oak right here, extra small. And these are the Amplify leggings in chai. These are also extra small. Now the thing is, I have not worn oak. I wore it at Alphaland, but I did not wear it here. Now if we look at the waistband side by side, chai is a little bit bigger. And when I first got these, they probably like had an even bigger or smaller difference than this, who knows, but after you wear leggings, guys, they stretch out. <laughs> After you wash them, they fit a little bit differently. Like they're not gonna be exact. And I could show you my pair of oak and my pair of chai right here and say, okay, you know, let's say I hadn't wore them. I could say the chai run bigger because according to the waistbands right here, the chai is like half an inch wider at the waist, right? I could say they run bigger. Now, if Gabby gets another set of these two exact colors, Hers might be the opposite. It might be slightly different. And I know that's not what you want to hear because that's frustrating, but moving into point two here, unless you are wearing these leggings 24 hours a day, every single day, you are not going to see the difference. I genuinely don't think you are. If I tried on a pair of Alphalete leggings that I was like, wow, these ones 
really are way tighter than any other legging. Good example of that is the black Amplify leggings. Those run way tight. I could comfortably wear a medium in the black Amplify leggings and they would probably fit like a small. Like you should size up in that color. But any of the colors from this launch and a lot of the launches, you guys, they are so similar. Like any of them that I really think you should size up in, Misty Lilac is a good example. Um, there was an orange color a couple of launches ago, like a burnt orange that you should size up in. And the black, I will say that, but I am not gonna sit here and be like, this one is a half a centimeter bigger than the other one because it's not going to serve you. Um, and I think that we're just getting a little bit too nitty gritty about those details sometimes. And it's probably stressing you guys out about which sizes to wear. Like this whole launch, I'm gonna say in general for all of the leggings, get your true to size. Every single color, every single short and legging, I would say get your true to size for this whole launch. If there was one that I thought was way different, I would tell you there isn't. Um, I noticed the difference in some of them because I wear them constantly and it's my job to review them for you. You guys aren't like, don't get bogged down by the like the little tiny changes that just really you're not even going to notice at all. So rant over about that. Part two of, well, I don't know, I guess this is part three of the rant. I could sit here <laughs> and please go check out my Instagram. I started a highlight on Instagram called sizing and I have a birthday sale highlight specifically. So the birthday sale highlight is going over all the colors, me wearing a lot of the pieces, my thoughts on them, um, like day to day as they, as I wear them. And then I made a sizing highlight because I realized I could be wearing a size small in Amplify leggings. And there could be a girl that is 40 pounds heavier than me or has 45 inch glutes that is also wearing a small and she likes to wear the small even though she could match up to the measurements for a medium or a large but she likes the small and so do I so there are so many different body types that can wear so many different sizes does that make sense like you could look at a girl and based on the sizing chart she could wear a size large but maybe she likes the fit of the size small the best and that's the thing we have to consider and I hope that I'm not the only review that you watch, especially if you don't have the same body type as me, because my preferences might not be the same as yours. And so because of that, I started this sizing highlight and I'm just having you guys send in pictures of yourself, of yourselves wearing sizes that aren't extra small or small, because we know that a lot of the Alpha Elite athletes, pretty much all of them, other than maybe three or four, are size extra small or small. And if you are not a size extra small or small, First of all, you're beautiful and who gives a freaking fuck, excuse my French, about the size you wear. Does not matter. We wear the clothes. The clothes do not wear us, okay? It doesn't matter what size you are. Um, that's something that I've learned to let go recently and I think we all do. Like, I don't know why we're trying to fit in jeans that fit us two years ago and trying to make our body smaller to fit into them. No, like get new jeans. Like the clothes should be something you put on, not something that you strive to fit into, you know? And so starting off with that, the sizing doesn't matter. But the other piece of that is like, you guys probably don't see a lot of women in these collections that aren't my size and my body type, and that's not fair to you. So I had a bunch of you guys send in pictures and selfies of you wearing, uh, those of you who wear a medium, a large, an extra large, or a double XL to me, and I am collecting all those photos and I'm putting them into that highlight. So you guys can refer back to that if you wanna say, hey, what does this piece look like for my body type? Um, so you're not just looking at me because that's not helpful. I am gonna also include uh, some of those photos into the video here. I am adding them in as we speak uh, so that you're able to see it in this video if you're not somebody who is on Instagram. So rant over. I know the sheerness matters amongst these colors, but other than that, take your shoe to size on all of the leggings, all of the shorts, and I will go over the sizing for some of the other items as we go. And just to end that off, I love you so much and thank you for being here and please send me more photos. Never stop sending me photos, especially as new collections come out. If you buy any of these items, send me a picture of what those sizes look like on you so that I can share them with other women and they can see how that fits you if you're comfortable with it. Um, send it to me on Instagram at Brit Shaheen. I would really love that and I will post you on my story and we will just share it so that we all have an equal opportunity to see what items look like on us. Okay? Okay. We are doing a giveaway. Alphalie has been kind enough to give each of us a $500 to give away to our followers. And I have decided that I want to give that $500 away to four different winners. So four people are going to win $125 to spend toward Alphalie. With this sale, that could look like five items that are really discounted or two or even three of the newer items. 
um, that are going to be like 20% off with my code and I'm going to be sending those gift cards out to you. So the launch is February 18th. I am going to give the gift cards out on February 14th on Valentine's Day. I just want to do a little Valentine's Day giveaway. So all you have to do is go follow my TikTok and leave a comment of what your favorite item from this launch is, what you want to get from this launch. Leave a comment on any of my TikTok videos uh, for that and hit the follow button. And if you are not a girly that uses TikTok, leave a comment down below on YouTube. That is fine too. And just make sure that you're subscribed. I'm gonna choose four of you to give away the gift cards to. I will comment back on Valentine's Day and let you know that you're the winner. So without further ado, we are going to get right into this freaking haul. Here we go. So I have gone ahead and put Brooklyn's measurements down below in the description so you can refer back. Um, but again, please know I am wearing size small in all of these items and I do usually wear extra small. So starting out with this set right here, I am uh, five foot seven, about 130, 135 pounds and a 32D bra size. So if that gives you some insight on what a size small would look like. So I'm gonna start out with the leggings while we have them. Um, we have tons of different colors here, so I'm going to run through them. As far as Amplify leggings, you know the drill, um, double or maybe even triple lined waistband, it is compressive. Um, I'm wearing a small here, and after wearing these for a few days, I think maybe a small is more comfortable for me. It, like I do find, you can see that I'm sitting here, see how this rolls a little? Like I sit down, I have rolls like everyone else. See how like it rolls down on my waist? The size small doesn't do that. Because these are compressive and they're like tight against my stomach, when I like slouch, it rolls them down a little bit. So, you know, again, personal preference. I could wear a small in all of these. I do like the extra small because I feel like it holds everything in for me and that's just my preference. But um, again, up to you on that. I will say as far as these colors, every single day I put on a set of these and I'm like, this is my favorite color. And then the next day I'm like, no, this is my favorite color. I love them all. I genuinely cannot pick which one was my favorite. But if I had to, had to, had to choose, I would say the rose or the autumn, these two shades right here. I am really, really in love with both of these. If you're a pink purple girly, you're gonna love both of them. They're gorgeous and Al Alfley just doesn't have colors like this. Like these are very new shades to Alfley. So I love both of those and I really, really love linen and chai as well. If I had to pick between the two for leggings and shorts, I would say get chai. Linen can be a little bit sheer. It is not completely squat proof. This is not a leg day legging. Um, I would I would choose chai if I had to choose between linen or chai. And then for the shades of green, oak is my favorite. I am obsessed with oak for the greens. I also really like willow, but it's giving like, I mean, when you actually look at it, it's like a baby puke green color. You know what I'm talking about? And everybody's asking if this is similar to dusty green. It isn't. This one is much more yellow toned and I just, I don't love this color on my skin tone the most. So if I had to pick a green, I would pick oak and then if I had to pick a blue uh, I would pick midnight so these are the midnight leggings right here and these are the ocean leggings um, ocean honestly rapids blue is really similar to this and there's like a couple other amplify leggings that are very similar in color to this one um, so I will put those on my Instagram story with color comparisons I love midnight love the color but same thing teal is very 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 close to this um, so if I was choosing like ones that you really, really should get, I would say the linen or the chai and then the rose or the autumn because they're the most unique colors of this launch. So hope that's helpful. And then for the gray colors, like the gray shades, I really like shadow, I think, um, over smoke. I hope I'm right in saying those color names, but I find that shadow, I don't know what it is about shadow, but for me, it was really thick and like they felt so good and so nice on me, but Amy said that her shadow was like, we really sheer. So I'm not sure. I don't want to recommend that. I feel like there are a million grays and black shades out there. So there's nothing special about those. If you're choosing one pair, get one of the new colors because they're fabulous. Okay. Those are Amplify leggings. Nothing to note um, other than squat proofness. Um, linen, chai, and willow are not squat, squat proof. Um, chai is like kind of in the middle there. Linen and Willow are not squat proof for me. So wouldn't wear them on a leg day, but would wear them any other day, totally fine. They're not completely see-through by any means. As far as the colors go, 
I would get, like if you're gonna get a set, if you're gonna get a top and a bottom, I would get two different shades. Like I would get linen and a chai, or I would get oak and a willow, like get like a set, because then you can mix and match with your other items. The linen and chai do match like every single shade in this range. Um, just for reference, I will show you. I mean, you could wear any of these colors together and they look really great. So if you're leaning toward one that you can match with a lot of things, I would do one of the beige shades. All right, so next up we have the ribbed bras. And I love these bras. Not everyone loves them. A lot of people don't actually, but I really like them. I think they're so comfy. I've been wearing them nonstop. I got them in every color other than gray. And in the video, I am wearing a size small. Right now I am wearing a size small. I wish I got an extra small. I will say that. Um, I would 100% size down in this bra. Um, you can see like in the video, I have like some gaping on the side there. I do have it here as well. Like if I lean forward, like this gapes um, on the side. So you definitely want to size down in this. And it does have adjustable straps. So once you tighten the straps, it helps a lot. But again, definitely, definitely size down. I told Christian this to put it on the website to size down or you're gonna be <laughs> stressed about how big it's gonna fit you. It does have removable paddings and it does have this deep V here. I know some people don't love this. I do imagine people are gonna like cross the straps and wear it that way who don't love the V. I personally like it. I've done tons of Pilates classes in this and I feel fine. Like there are moments where I'm like, oh, it's kind of out, <laughs> but I like it anyway. It's very, very comfortable. I've been wearing these all day long. And then it's kind of like a long line too. You can see that it's like a longer bra. This part at the bottom is kind of that double lining, almost like an Amplify legging, which feels really nice. It doesn't move around. It doesn't slide up. Straps don't fall down. Love this bra. Huge fan of it. Very, very comfy. If you're more of like a loungewear type of girl, I would do this bra a million percent. You're really going to enjoy it. And it looks really good under the tops for this launch. Okay, next up, we have two different bras. We have the Stratus bra and the Amplify bra. So I think in these clips, I'm wearing the Stratus bra. The Stratus bra, I only got one this launch. I did get the one in Chai just because I wanted that matching set. And you guys, when I first started wearing the Stratus bra, I really enjoyed it. It does give a nice lift. It has good coverage. But now that I've had them for a while, I don't love these bras. I don't hate them, but they're not my favorite. And the reason being is this bottom strap, and I mentioned this in my original video, is so snug. Like you must size up in the Stratus bra. Please God, size up in the Stratus bra. Um, I am usually a small and I actually want to try a medium. I think it would be more comfortable on me um, when I'm generally a small or an extra small in bras. So if that tells you anything. If you're between sizes, size up. If you're not between sizes, size up um, because this strap is so tight. It's like putting on a dress that like you can't get over your lats almost. And then of course we have the Amplify bra. I'm not sure if I try this one on in the video or not, but this one's a classic. We've had this one for a long time. Um, something about the Amplify bras that have changed in the past two launches is the width is smaller for some reason. I don't know why that has changed, but it has. Definitely worth noting last launch and this launch. It is like giving a lot of side boob now. Um, so if you, again, if you're between sizes in the Amplify bra, I would say size up anyway, but definitely size up now or you're gonna get a side boob moment. I wear a size small in the Amplify bra. This is a very good coverage bra. If I, I mean, I'm a double D and if I had a D or anything bigger, I feel like most girls would really like this, especially if you're a girly who wants high support and good coverage. This bra does not move. And because the straps are so thick, they A, they don't dig, and B, again, they just like hold on. Like you just have the support in the coverage that you want if you're not trying to do like a little strappy bra like this. So this is a great bra. It just, it has to be like right for you. This has to be what you want. And for me, I do prefer like these little kind of dainty bras instead. So just my opinion there. All right, next up we have the Stratus long sleeve top. I got mine in midnight and in white. And there are a couple things about this top that I love and some things that I love less. So in the video, I am wearing a size small and that's what I have right here. And I wish I had a medium, okay? I, I can do a small, like I can wear this, it's fine. I can put it on, um, but a medium would be more comfortable. So in the Stratus long sleeve, size up. Not even because the body is like super tight or anything like that, but the arms are tight. If you have a really, really thin arms, then go for your true to size. But if not, um, I mean, my arms are very, very snug in this and I don't want them to be that snug. 
So I would recommend sizing up in any of the Stratus long sleeves. They do have a thumb hole and that is also a factor in what makes them so tight um, because there's of course like an elastic here and the wrist is very tight as well. So I think it's a beautiful top. It looks so good. Like it's so flattering on. It is not sweat proof, um, but it's really, really beautiful on. Really enjoy these. Just size up. So we came to a agreement. Chai and white were so tight and stiff. Tight. Like I couldn't even get my arms out of the white one. Yeah. Um, and these feel so much different. Like these yeah. colors. Yeah, these two are a lot better. So much more stretchy. I don't know if it's just because they're the lighter materials versus darker colors and fabric. Is it that darker is stretchier or is it stiffer? It's usually the opposite. Like yeah. usually the darker washes are a little bit more stiff, especially like black Amplify leggings are the tightest of all the Amplify leggings usually. But with these, like I found the chai to be like really stiff in the material, kind of like scratchy. Same with the white. Same with the white. Very stiff. And especially, these are, no, these feel so like soft, so soft <laughs> and nice. stretchy. Also to note, the white is completely sheer. Yeah, very very sheer. Can only wear it with a sports bra under it. I feel like the tri bra would look good under it if you wanted the white. Yeah. Yeah. So. But the other colors, I don't think are sheer at all. And like, no, these no. ones are a lot. These are way better. Yeah. Like I thought I, I was gonna write these off completely, but this this is actually really nice. Yeah. These colors. Do you want to show the details? On yes. Like, yes. 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 So details are really pretty here on the sleeve. So I want to make sure I can get it on both cameras because we're filming on mine and Brittany's. Um, but it has almost this pattern detail that goes up the delt here. Um, that goes up the delt, so that's cute. And then it has the thumb holes. I love the thumb holes, that's like a seller for me. I love that. And then, yeah, really cute detail. So you have oak and willow. So this is another yeah. example too of just like mix and contrasting. Yeah. Um, you could maybe wear like the midnight one without a bra if you really wanted to, or if you wore a sports bra, you wouldn't see it. This one, see-through sis, completely see-through. Um, let me see, let me just like, if I hold this up against, I mean, like you see my, the line of my bra right there, very, very see-through. Um, you will want the nude or the white bra to wear under this, any nude or white bra to be fair, um, but you will see the lines of it. So personally, I wouldn't reach for the white one if I were you. I would do one of the colors. All right, next up we have the Stratus, is that what it's called? The Stratus Tank? And then this is, she has the tank on, which is new yes. and different from the Stratus bra. So we also wanted to show kind of the difference of what that looks like together. So this has like some of the details similar to the long sleeve top that you saw in Brooklyn earlier. It has like these details around the side and then the back is razor back. And then we have all of these colors, colors. which we have shown. So we have the black, the gray, the blue, the rose, and the, and the linen. So. so not every... Not every bottom color. has a matching tank. There's but you can mix and match these really well. Really I mean, yeah. So this is a really cool top and I am excited about this one. Um, this is very thin. I am going to say that it's almost similar to the amplified crops. If you guys remember those, the short sleeve and the long sleeve ones, um, it's actually a little bit thinner than those. So even like on camera here, if I stretch this out, like let me do a little punch through it here. Like you can see these are quite quite thin. Um, I went to wear mine yesterday to Pilates without a bra on and I wore nipple covers because I was like, I'm going to give somebody a show. Um, they are very thin. I do like how long line they are. If I want a little more coverage, they're great for that. But in general, I would, I would wear a bra under this. Um, going back <laughs> to yesterday, I would have worn a bra. Um, so just plan on wearing a bra with this one if you're going to wear it. It is not really a braless top. Um, and it does slide around a lot. The actual band on this isn't tight like the Stratus bra is. It's very, very stretchy, um, so it can slide up, and it is not sweat proof. I literally had like sweat marks under my boobs after Pilates yesterday, so keep that in mind with this one. I do also have the Ocean, and I got both of these in small, and take your true to size in this. It is very, very, very stretchy. I took a small in mine. I could also wear an extra small. It would just fit tighter. Um, I like how the small fits on me, as you can see in the video, but again, take your true to size with this. I don't think you need to go up or down. Done with that. Next up, what do we have? What do we have? Um, next up, I didn't really go over the biker shorts or the short shorts, but let's do that. <laughs> so for the last couple pieces, instead of going through every color, since you've seen all the color, we thought we'd do some comparisons. Okay. I have the normal shorts on, Brittany has the bikers on. And so 4.5, 6.5. Yeah. And we have the same length legs. Yes. You go side by side. Mm -hmm. So you can see the actual difference between how these look on. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the bikers are shorter than they used to be. They used to be 7.5. So they're an inch shorter than they were. 
But I feel like a, the reason that a lot of people like the bikers is of course the length, but also a lot of girls, including me, <laughs> will bunch them up in the front like this. So you just kind of have more length to decide how you want them to fit. And when you bunch them up in the back, it's really flattering to like have this extra fabric to kind of hold everything. Yeah, I, I personally like, I shot with these yesterday, and I personally like this length a little bit more for the length of my legs. I feel like it's just a little bit more, like this is fine, it's just a shorter short, but those, I would probably go for the bikers a little yeah, bit more. Me too, with like the option. I don't know, I think when you have the biker, you can choose really where you want yeah. it to be. And I find that these bikers, maybe it's because they're not an inch longer, they don't dig at all they don't. into my legs. They don't dig and they don't roll. Like when you move, yeah, they don't roll. So a couple things. Biker shorts are back. They are launching in 6.5 inches. Previously they were 7.5 inches. So that is the only difference. Um, as far as the fit of these, I really like the biker shorts. Like if I'm choosing between the 4.5 short shorts or the bikers, I'm going to choose the bikers. I think if you're somebody that, I mean, you don't want your butt hanging out the bottom of your shorts, or for me, I have like fat right under my butt that I'm really self-conscious about. So I like wearing bikers because it covers that. Whereas the short shorts, they just are this length. And that's that. I wish I was a girly that just wore these little baby shorts, but I am not. I just am not. <laughs> it's not for me. Yeah, um, but I know a lot of people do love the bikers, uh, so get them while you can. It has been a year since these restocked, and I'm not sure when or if they come back or like how often, so I would 100% get them while you can. The good thing about these two is they don't roll up on your thighs, um, assuming you're wearing the correct size. So I am an extra small in the leggings and I always wear small in any shorts. I like to size up for length and I don't like them to dig into my legs at all. And if you're that way, if you don't want a ton of compression, just go ahead and size up in these shorts. I mean, the difference between an extra small and a small is so minimal. Uh, it's really just like a little bit in the waist and a little bit of length. So if you're like, hey, I want more coverage. I don't want these to dig. I'm worried about them digging just size up and don't stress about it. Um, I could wear a small, I well, I definitely wouldn't wear an extra small. I put a pair of extra small on for the shoot and I was like, can I please have small? <laughs> like, they just feel so tight and small on me. Um, so I did a small for the photo shoot and I would wear a medium. Um, again, just for length and for the lack of digging. I want that out of my shorts, so. Okay, next up we have the crew necks. Lynn and I, again, we are wearing a size small in the women's crew necks in these clips. And I think we're gonna go over some size comparisons for you with some of these hoodie options. But while I'm sitting here, I am gonna show you some of the main differences quickly. I do have the women's size small and the women's size extra small in the cruise. First off, I'm obsessed with these colors. Like, oh, if you're gonna pick a crew neck, I would say get linen, because again, it matches everything. And guys, when I say I live, I live in the Alphalete crew necks. Like they, they're my most worn Alphalete item now. They're just so comfortable. I've washed them a thousand times and they still look great. Like such a wonderful, wonderful piece if you want something just warm and cozy to wear all the time. So good. I would get linen. If you're trying to choose a color, get linen. Midnight and Autumn here are both also stunning, but here we are. So between extra small and small on the crew necks, um, I 100% am a small, which is what I'm wearing in the video here. The biggest difference in these two sizes is the sleeve length, which is funny because when you put them side by side, you can barely tell. But when you wear an extra small of these crew necks, for me, it hits me like here on my wrist when my arms are out. And I don't want that in a hoodie. It's perfect around my body, but I don't want it to hit here. So I'm about five foot seven, and I want my crew neck to be to my wrist. Extra small is too short on my wrists. If you are my height or maybe you have long arms, go ahead and size up or you are gonna find that they like don't come all the way to your hands. The small for me fits absolutely perfect. And final conclusion about the crew necks is my favorite crew necks actually are not the women's ones. They're the men's ones. The only difference between the men's and the women's is the men's have a little bit more space between the shoulder and like the armpit area. This is wider and their body, the body on them is a little bit wider as well. So right here with me, I have a men's small, and this is a women's small in front of it. So I will show you what that looks like. Okay, and the length on the men's is actually slightly longer too. So if we look right here, the men's arm, like the actual arm doesn't start till right here on the women, like right here where my fingers are. This is where the men's arm starts, and you can see the women starts in here. So it's like, I don't know, about two inches wider, the men's is, around the body. 
And then for the sleeves, if we line that up, <laughs> look at the difference in the sleeves. This is like lined up side by side. So I do prefer the men's. I just find them to be a little bit cozier for me, um, just a little bit more space. And the men's are longer. So again, both size small, women's small on the top, men's small in the gray, and the men's are like a whole waistband longer. So keep that in mind if you're looking for more of an oversized fit. Um, the men, the men's sizes are launching like all of the same colors basically. Love the men's stuff for that reason this launch. Okay, next thing launching for women that I am very excited about are the full length crop zip hoodies. So this one right here is a size extra small. And when I say these are so much better than the quarter zip, and I told you guys I didn't like the quarter zip. I oh, gave them away very quickly. These are the full zip and they are so much better. So in the video, I'm wearing a size small. So I'm gonna quickly show you what an extra small looks like on me. So this is the difference. This is the waistband of my leggings. It hits right there. And this is what it looks like from the side. So the extra small on me is perfect. It does come all the way to my wrists. I like this one much better. The small for me, like with these, they're called the capital crops, I think. With these hoodies, I find that like the bigger in size you go up, the wider they get almost. So I really like how the extra small fits. If I had to choose, this would definitely be my size. These are very comfy, very cute. They are launching in white, which goes in everything. And they are really high quality. Like this is a very thick, nice hoodie. I don't know if you can tell like here on video, but this is a very, very nice hoodie. It feels high quality. It feels like, wow, this is worth every penny. Very, very, very nice. I love these. I think they came out so well. Really impressed with those. And then on that note, we also have the men's full zips launching in some new colors. So the one that I'm wearing right here is a small. And Brooklyn and I are about to go over some sizing details about all of the men's full zips because I think we have like every size in that room with us. But this is the size small of the full zip. This is what it looks like on me. This is where it hits. I'll turn. This is where the small hits me, like right halfway down my butt. And yeah, it's like oversized, a little bit long in the hands here. And I love this one. I love the full zips. They're so comfortable, easy to just throw on at any time. This is a men's large. This is great. I like this. So this is a this is a men's small, which is still so this, this one's an extra small. I have this in two colors. Oh, so okay. I just have an extra small and a medium. He was gonna say, okay, this is what a small looks like on me. And this is what a large looks like on me. So definitely yours is a lot longer. Very long. And the sleeves. <laughs> my hands are like here. I like the small because it still goes over my sleeve or my hands as like a little bit of an oversized fit. These tan ones are an old launch. They will um, be on sale. They will be on sale. You're right. Yeah. yeah. And this is the extra small in the zip. So extra small versus large. And I do like the extra small too because my hands are the right length. I just prefer the medium because like I like these to go down lower. I like it a little bit more oversized. But yeah. this is a little too oversized. Yeah. Me. I do the large mint in the um, oversized like pump cover. So mm -hmm. And then, yeah. This is cute now. Yeah. Like it's small or medium for our size and the full zip are perfect. But if you want to get like a boyfriend and get them a large, you can always steal it and it'll still look cute. Very true. They do have men's extra small, but I doubt there's a ton of stock of those. So basically what you can do for men's sizes is whatever your size is, is in women's. Let's say you're a women's large. In men, for that same size, you'd be a men's medium. So you just go down a size to be your usual size. Although I like mine a little bit oversized, so I just stick with my usual size small for these. Um, I will note, these are not as thick as the full zip women's hoodie. These feel thinner and I've been wearing them nonstop back to back to come to that conclusion. You can't really tell on camera, I don't think. No, you can't. But like in person, the women's zip feels just like heavier and thicker than the men's one. The men's one is definitely a very light jacket. Like it is not super warm, you do not want to be in the snow in this jacket, you will freeze. So keep that in mind. <laughs> and finally, before I finish up, uh, Brooklyn and I don't try these on, so I will show you. Um, I did get one of the classic hoodies from Elfleet. These launched forever ago, and years ago I had the gray one. This time I just got the black one. Um, this one is in a size large. I was like, I'm gonna get it, but I'm gonna share it with Alex, because he'll love this. Um, and this one is launching in the black and the gray. And this is just such a classic, like, 
Alphalete staple hoodie. I had the gray one forever and it actually was like so nostalgic. Like it reminded me of a certain point in my life <laughs> so much that I got rid of it because I was like, this isn't good for me to have because it just like reminded me of things. So it's nice to have like that again. This is basically just like the, um, the men's full zip hoodie, but a little bit thicker and of course has a hood and has pockets. So this is how big the large is very very oversized on me if alex was here i'd make him try it on i will make him put it on and put it on my instagram story for you guys to see what it looks like on someone um but these are really fantastic if you want like a good gift to get somebody especially the men in your life the like classic hoodies are a really really good one for that so that is going to conclude our try on haul video that was a lot i'm guessing um once i put all these clips together i think it's gonna be a lot to say but thank you guys so much for being here. I feel like every year when Alphalete has a birthday sale, I kind of remember like it's been years that I've been with, not, with Alphalete and it feels like my own little Alphalete birthday too. And I'm just so grateful always for you guys and your support. Again, please keep sending me pictures of you in different sizes of your Alphalete clothing so that I can add it to my story as well as the Alphalete sizing highlight that is going to now live on my Instagram page forever. Yeah. I, I'm not. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. okay. here. Put my hair yeah. in the front. All right, white beanie. We have gray. We have, this is navy, even though maybe it looks black on camera, but it's navy. Oh, yeah. And then we have the tan, and this, I think this is linen. That's we'll put the, the yeah. names. We'll put the names on the screen of everything, but five beanie colors coming out. They're so soft, like they're ultra soft. soft. And they're really thick. I feel like they're actually gonna be warm. Yeah. yeah. And Very cute. a little Alphalete logo on the outside and the inside. So if you fold it, then you still get the logo. So then we also have, the Hydro Jugs, we have the stainless steel ones, and then just like the regular, like hydro. these are Hydro Jug Collab, right? Yes, yeah. and these ones are the plastic ones, and I guess the main difference is, it's hot too. Yeah, so the plastic ones have like a flip top that goes, just like pops open, like this. Gosh. They're really hard to yeah. open. This one has a different top, so it still flips up, but if you wanna open yours, like yeah. very different tops here and then obviously this one's pure stainless steel yeah same size how heavy is this one it's a little bit more heavy it's a little heavier yeah and then they have the um like the measurements on the side on the plastic and not, not on, on this one the this one just has the alpha elite logo here and then just some like detailing on the side but okay. we have the black and then the tan is the other thing yeah, so yeah, this yeah, one's yeah. like darker at the bottom and it kind of I got this. This one is so cute. Yeah, this is I got that one too. Yeah. <laughs> I love this one. Yeah. But there, this one is definitely a little bit heavier. That's a little bit lighter. Yeah. But I feel like I prefer the stainless steel. They just seem like... And they stay, they stay cold, right? They stay yeah. colder longer. For underwear, we have the women's underwear launching in new colors. So we have the three nude seamless underwear. And then this set is black, blue, and gray. And these are great seamless underwear if you need some for under your leggings or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, these are the ones I always wear. They're perfect and they don't yeah. really show at all. At all. Yeah. I love these. I wear a small on them. Um, I do small too. If you feel like you're in between sizes, I would say size up. Because yeah. you never want a seamless underwear to dig. No. Yeah. But these yeah. are fabulous. Perfect. Oh, and for men, this is the first time they're coming out with the men's boxers in a pack of three. Oh, okay. Yeah, awesome. So if you like the boxers and you're a guy watching this, yeah. then they're coming in packs of three. We got a lot of stuff this time, guys. So much. <laughs> and don't forget to follow me on TikTok and comment on one of my recent videos, your favorite Alphalete item that is launching, and I will enter you in the giveaway for those four gift cards. Um, for those four $125 gift cards, and I am so excited to announce that on Valentine's Day. Again, if you're not a TikTok girly, then leave a comment down below instead, and make sure you're subscribed to me here on YouTube, and I'll be announcing those winners on Valentine's. So, I hope you guys get everything that you want. Again, I don't want to stress anyone out, like shopping and shopping, you don't need clothes. Like you just don't need them. But if you do want to shop, now is the time. Um, this will be the biggest sale. Truly, truly bigger than Black Friday, according to Christian himself. Also, any order over $80 is gonna get you free shipping. And Alphalete has updated to a new ground shipping process. So shipping is supposed to be really fast, really smooth, and you should receive a tracking number right away. And it's true because we get our orders through that new system and it's really, really nice and you can track it very, very easily. So I hope this launch is really smooth and seamless for you guys and I'm so excited. If you do decide to use my code, that's gonna get you 10% off your order and support me as well. Please, please, please leave a comment or message me on Instagram so I can thank you myself. And of course, I just love you and I'm so grateful for you and thank you for letting me get to do this all the time. I 
hope this was helpful. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you so, so, so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Filmed everything, so this YouTube review is going to be so good. Thank you, Brittany. <laughs> love you.